Okay, so today I'm going to try and explain to you about an induced voltage. So the word induced means to create. So we're going to create um, some difference in potential energy or create a voltage. And to do that, um, you need a piece of wire, which is the long grey thing in the middle here. You need to be moving that wire, so you can see the, the direction of the velocity in, with the red arrow, and that needs to be moving inside a magnetic field, and all the blue dots represent the magnetic field. So when you move a wire in a magnetic field, um, the wire experiences a force, and it experiences a force because every single particle inside the wire also experiences a force. And when you think about those particles inside the wire, they are protons and electrons. So the protons inside a wire are fixed into position. They cannot move. Okay. However, the electrons do move. And what generally happens here is if you can move a wire through a magnetic field, all the electrons move to one end of the wire. And that creates a negative end where all the electrons are. And by default, the other end becomes positive. So to decide um, what does the moving, we use the right hand slap rule, which you should be familiar with now. So we're just going to have a look at seeing um, what happens here. So you can see that the velocity is moving to the right, and that would be the direction that your thumb points. Okay. The magnetic field is going into the page here, so that's the direction that your fingers would point. And if you um, point your thumb to the right and your fingers into the page, then your palm of your hand is going up to the top of the page. So the force is this way. And that is the direction that your palm would face. Now, the thing that you have to remember, and the way I um, try and get you to remember, is because your palm is facing upwards, it is your palm that points to the direction that the positive charge would be. Okay? So what that's implying is that all of the electrons are moving down to the bottom of the wire. So the electrons move that way, and that's why the bottom of the wire becomes negative and the top of the wire becomes positive. Remember, the protons do not move, okay? They cannot move because they're in fixed positions inside the wire. However, the electrons, which are delocalized, those valence electrons can move wherever they like, they all move down to the bottom of the wire. And so that makes the bottom of the wire negative and the top of the wire positive. Now, because you've separated out the charge, what you've actually got here is a difference in electrical potential energy, which, in other words, is a voltage. Okay, so there's a difference in energy there, and so... We create a voltage and that is what an induced voltage is. I hope that helps explain. Please pop into a meet if you still don't understand that because it's a really important idea for this last section of work. Thanks everyone.